Lebanon is on a diplomatic offensive. Its foreign minister, Gibran Basile, invited ambassadors and the media to tour sites that Israel says are hiding Hezbollah missile production facilities. They are within an area controlled by the Iranian-backed Lebanese armed group in Beirut's southern suburbs. Among them, the Ahed football stadium. Basile, a political ally of Hezbollah, is accusing Israel of lies to justify an attack against Lebanon. It is true that there are many statements made affirming the possession of accurate missiles by Hezbollah. However, this does not mean that those missiles are present in the vicinity of Beirut airport. Israel's military says the facilities used to convert regular missiles into more accurate guided ones are still not operational, but under construction with Iranian supervision. Israel is accusing Hezbollah of knowingly jeopardizing the lives of civilians and using them as human shields. The three alleged missile sites are located in densely populated areas close to the airport. There was no immediate reaction from ambassadors of Western countries, but Russia's envoy is calling for calm. We want to prevent war. That's why we are deploying new weapons to Syria. There should be no escalation. Russia's decision to deploy S-300 anti-aircraft missiles follows the downing of its plane last month over Syria. Moscow is blaming Israel for the incident. Russia is sending as 300s, but Netanyahu is telling Hezbollah, this doesn't mean you can operate freely. We will continue to act against your activities. Over the years, Russia gave Israel room to act in Syria. It carried out hundreds of strikes, targeting alleged Iranian bases and suspected Iranian arms shipments for Hezbollah. The Lebanese group, however, says the Israeli strikes have been ineffective. I tell Israel, no matter what you did to cut the route, it is over. It has already been achieved. We now have precision and non-precision weapons and all the capabilities to arm. Lebanon says the tour is about assuring the international community that Israel's allegations are false. It is not about refuting what Hezbollah and its allies believe is its right to arms. Zena Khudr Al Jazeera, Beirut.